<laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> Welcome to our channel. We are the Just Gotta Knows. I'm Stephanie. I'm Jessica. And today we are doing something a little bit different. We're putting ourselves kind of out there, so try not to be too hard on us. But we are on a mission to lose weight. We're always on this mission, <laughs> but we never really fall through. So it kind of just lasts for maybe like two days max. Um, so we're kind of holding each other accountable and not that we're the greatest because we're so like hey, you want to eat something like you want to go eat cake? You want to go chili? Okay. So we're trying to be really good but sometimes we may fail. So we're just going to kind of let you know what it is that we are doing and follow along with us throughout the week and see if we lose weight, um, if we fluctuate, if we're not losing weight. So we're just gonna kind of jump in and let you know what we did. So starting off um, on Monday, we decided to start our journey. And first thing we did was we weighed ourselves and we took measurements. So weighing ourselves every single day and we are measuring once a week. So every Monday we will take some measurements. We measured our chest, we measured our right arm, our left arm, our waist, our hips, our right thigh, our left thigh, and then we are doing kind of like a squat um, little mission to see if we can tone our butts. Or um, grow one. <laughs> or grow so one. I have one. And we decided to go from like the hip to the hip and try to see if we are getting like a little perk in that tush. <laughs> um, so we went ahead and got those measurements. So the things that we are doing for our weight loss is we are um, kind of counting our calories. So I am trying to consume about 1,240 calories, and Jessica? Mine's 13. 1,300 calories. Before, I could consume about 1,200 calories with one meal, so it's been a real struggle for me to <laughs> not eat so much. Another thing that we are doing is inter intermittent fasting. fasting. So. Um, before we kind of tried this and we were like waking up at different hours and we kept changing our time. So this last Monday we decided we were going from 11 to 7. All the time. All the time. And so I sleep in sometimes and um, sometimes we don't get our shake until about 12.30. So we're kind of like in a little crunch to get our meals in within that time. So we are doing that. We are also taking... Um, the Phenitrim, Phenitra something, little pill that curbs appetites. It's supposed to give you a boost of energy. Um, so this is what the little bottle looks like. We got it off of Amazon. It's been taking those pills to curb our appetite. It's been helping me with my caffeine headaches. Um, so we're trying to do that so that we don't get so hungry. We're not craving food. Um, another thing what we are doing for workouts is we are doing beach body i have a subscription for that so we shout did, out to jericho <laughs> we've been doing the morning meltdown, meltdown 100 so it's for 100 days and it's different types of um workouts and with the beach body we get like a shake that um we've been drinking in the mornings so we're gonna kind of go day by day and let you know what we ate what we weighed and we'll give you a clip of the workout. Okay, so we're gonna start with Monday. My starting weight for Monday was 139.6. Also, a while, like in January, I kind of fell, like I tripped over my feet at work. <laughs> And so I think I really injured my toe. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I probably should have gone to the doctor, but I sucked it up and I was walking funny and now it kind of is a little better since I really haven't been working or 
exercising on it, but my toe hurts when like, you know, when like you're stepping, I can step on it just fine. But when I go to like be on my tippy toe, I cannot do that. It like hurts. So if you look at my workout videos, you're going to see where I try to modify some of the exercises because I can't because it hurts. For breakfast, I had this Shakeology that I get from the Beach Body. It's um, really good. Like I add almond milk, I put frozen strawberries, and I put some safe and fair granola um, just to add like a crunch. Um, super yummy. That was 340 calories. My lunch was a chicken alfredo casserole, which was 290 calories. And then for dinner, I ate stuffed salmon with asparagus. So in Texas, we have HEB, which is the bomb. And they have these ready to go meals. So you can see this is like a stuffed salmon and it has asparagus. It's three, 580 calories. All you have to do is preheat the oven and put it in in 25 minutes, you have a healthy meal. I'm assuming it's healthy. Um, it's yummy. Yeah, it's, that is really good. So I am a person that doesn't know how to cook. I don't want to learn. So for <laughs> H-E-B to send me already made meals and just stick it in the oven, it's super easy. So for my Monday, I started my weight 165.6. And on Monday, our day was kind of similar. I did my shake. Um, <clears throat> It was 310 calories. Um, the only difference is I didn't use granola and I used 2% milk. Um, my lunch was the chicken alfredo casserole, 290 calories. And then the dinner was the seafood stuffed salmon, um, just like the one Stephanie showed you, except mine had broccoli. It was still, mine was actually 560 calories. That broccoli. Um, and then my water intake, I drank like 68 ounces of water. Um, but that was Monday. Okay, so on Tuesday, I weighed in in the morning at 139.6, so I didn't lose anything. <laughs> um, for breakfast, we did our workout. I know I'm so much better, than baby, you don't belong. I could feel it in my bones. There was something going on, that shade of doubt. all the stuff was the same my lunch I had chicken alfredo that was 730 calories um, but it was super duper yummy and then for dinner I had a steakhouse salmon meal simple so it was 450 calories and then for snacks I had apple cinnamon rice cakes which is this baby I know that you guys, I mean, I was like, ew, rice cakes, but these are actually kind of yummy. And then if you don't know about these um, birthday cake bites, they're like little babies. <laughs> they're so yum. Like, this is too, but mm -hmm. they're good. So on that day, I did go over my calories because I think my chicken alfredo was like a lot of calories so I went over and I drank my water we did our squats so on Tuesday I was 164.8 so my weight did go down um for breakfast I had the shake same thing for lunch I had shrimp scampi it was 650 calories and then for dinner I had the steakhouse salmon meal um was 450 <laughs> I didn't eat snacks 
Um, we did the workout. I drank water. Still had a little bit of calories remaining, barely, but... You weighed, um, you dropped weight that yeah, day? Yeah, I dropped weight that day. Okay, so on Wednesday, I weighed in at 138.2. So we did our workout. Those days are gone. I walk and talk while you're alone. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things you took from me, I know that I am so much better. Better. When I look at what I've done, I'm not a real part. When I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better. We had our shake for breakfast. For lunch, I had salmon with garlic herb butter, and then I had some broccoli and cheese casserole. So that whole meal was 775 calories. And then for dinner, I had a salmon spinach pinwheel, green beans, and some cucumbers. So that was about 332 calories. I had a snack so all in all I went over about 84 calories and that's including that like the calories I were I burned from my workout so I kind of still consumed about I consumed about 1500 calories with my meals and then I exercised so I still went over it on Wednesday yeah so I went down in weight a more I went 163.2 um, and then breakfast, my shake again, lunch, I had the simple salmon with garlic butter was 390 calories. Dinner, I had the same thing, the stuffed salmon with spinach and feta pinwheel, cucumbers and green beans, um, and then water and exercise. On Thursday, we woke up, we did our workout. <laughs> I had this really delicious white cheddar macaroni and cheese. It was 390 calories. What was your weight though on Thursday? Um, Thursday. We already did Thursday. No, we're on Thursday. Aw, I did it wrong. Okay, so on Thursday, my weight for the morning was 138.2. And I did not eat dinner. So on the first couple of days, I don't know if it was a pill that wasn't making me hungry um, or the time slot, but we were legit eating like every three hours and I wasn't hungry. Like trying to shove in breakfast, yeah, lunch, and dinner. Right. We were trying to shove it in to make sure that we're getting our meals in. And so on this day, I'm like, I'm not going to eat so like much because I wasn't hungry for it on those other days. And I'm noticing like I'm shoving food in my mouth. I'm not even that hungry. So on Thursday, I decided I'm just gonna have a really good big lunch. And then maybe if I'm hungry later, I'll snack before seven. So I didn't eat a dinner. So my snack was about like a little bit of some mixed nuts. So that was 210 calories. And then had a <laughs> lot of water, so. I didn't eat much that day. I had a lot of calories remaining. I consumed maybe a thousand calories. So on Thursday, my weight was 163.4. From my starting weight, I already lost two pounds. Um, breakfast, again, the same thing. Lunch was stuffed salmon with asparagus. And then for dinner, I had um, a steakhouse salmon meal. And something in me was telling me I needed a soda, so I drank a Sprite. And it didn't, it doesn't have caffeine, so I drank it. When you take the pill, you sh can't drink caffeine. They say it's bad for you. Um, and then we did our workout, and I had water. So 
So on that one, I was real close to going over like 40 calories remaining. On Friday, I weighed out. I weighed in at 137.6, so this is the lowest I've weighed. It probably was because I didn't eat dinner the night before. I am down two pounds from weigh-in. So on Friday, we did our workout. Might be shaking, but not stirred. Just a lesson that I've learned. And so it goes, tables turn in your own. So the banana has 53 calories, um, but it makes the shake taste that much better. Um, for lunch, I had white macaroni and cheese again. It was so good. Um, it was 390 calories. I didn't have dinner again. I had snacks later closer to 7. I had about 134 calories remaining on that day. So on Friday, I went up to 164 so I went from 163.4 back to 164 um again same thing with breakfast we did the shake added the bananas for lunch I had chicken fettuccine alfredo it was 690 calories it was a lot I didn't eat dinner and then that was it and water okay so horrible. we decided when we started that on Saturdays, <laughs> since we worked so hard, we were going to give ourselves a reward, which was going to be a cheat meal. So just keep that in mind. So we were going to try to do a cheat meal and make sure that it stayed within our calories. So on Saturday, I weighed in at 137.2. By this time, I've lost 2.0 four pounds so we work out hold on when you need a friend i'll never let you go again reach out when your mind's uneasy because i'll understand hold on when you need a friend i'll stay here to the end get up don't hang your head we'll take it Step by step Fell inside Now I'm living in a matchbox All this time All it needed was a little spark Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your head Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your head Give me my heart back Somebody stole it And put it in your head Give me my heart back Somebody stole it And put it in your did not have a shake this morning because we woke up kind of late and we were just going to go straight to our cheat meal. So in Texas, we have Whataburger, 
which I love Whataburger. It's so good. So I had a Whataburger with cheese, which is just a burger with cheese, but it's so good. And then I had a medium fry and I had a Powerade. And then <laughs> I had a little gravy for my fries. So that was about 1,250 calories just for that one meal. So with that meal, I hit my calories, but luckily I worked out, so I had about 200 calories to play with. Um, so Saturday was a bad day for me. Um, Jessica had a bad day on Friday. She was just like moody and cranky. So I guess she kind of, that was um, oh, contagious, contagious. Because I felt it on Saturday. Um, I had just a migraine all day. Um, it wasn't going to, well, I was trying to like to suck it up. And I thought maybe it was like I needed to eat. But it didn't go away. I was just in a mood. I was cramping. I just, I felt really ugly. Um, so, later that evening, to make me feel a little better, we, we, I, I think I just wanted to eat something like good or cake or I don't know what I was craving. <laughs> so we were kind of all over the place like, what do we get? It was just, it was supposed to be like a little snack that we could have shared. But... We went from like cheese, I wanted cheese, I wanted something salty, like cheese fries or mm -hmm. potato chips mm -hmm. with fries. And so then we somehow ended up at Chili's with their two for 25. <laughs> so we got the cheese fries and then I got chicken crispers and mashed potatoes and corn and a molten. And did I have a soda? We had a soda had a that soda. day. I was just not feeling great and I like food is comfort for me. It makes me feel happy. So yeah, Saturday was bad. It was not a great day. So <laughs> let's see if, the, if we paid for it on Sunday. So then Saturday I stayed at 164 that morning. Obviously we worked out, didn't eat the shake. We went to Whataburger. I honestly thought that Whataburger was going to be our only meal. I like went all out and I it ate It was like, supposed to be. I a ate cheap an meal, not a cheap day. Yes. I ate an avocado bacon burger and like I put grilled onions and jalapenos and I had the fries and I drink a Powerade and not a soda. Okay. Anyways, that was like 1,350 calories. Like that was a lot in that one meal. And then obviously we went to Chili's Obviously, I couldn't say no. <laughs> I drove her. We went to go pick up the food. That meal but was... In reality, you kind of lost like 100 calories because they were kind of giving us a run around as to how to go. Oh, I had to food. go because we got it to go because we don't want to eat in the restaurant. I had to go from the front door to the back door to the side door. It was horrible. <laughs> so she kind of walked off with 100 calories. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I mean the dinner itself was a whole other day plus more it was a lot um so we really we did really bad we did really bad so we're hoping that our cravings ended that day and yeah <laughs> we're hoping not to have another one of those okay so sunday sunday once our well i still had a little baby migraine <laughs> but it kind of started to go away on sunday i weighed 138.4 so i was so bummed because I gained a whole pound, 1.2 pounds. So if you really look at it, I ate a lot. And I should have gained like five pounds, but I only gained one. <laughs> so it was kind of like, eh, I didn't do that. But I mean, I consumed way too much food. However, that was a normal day before. Like Before we, before started we even started counting calories, like now we're like, oh damn. But before, that would have been a normal day um, for us. Like, like, we ate like that like almost all the time. On Sunday, I weighed 138.4. We did our workout.
I'm living in a matchbox We had our shake. We decided to do some videos yesterday, so we put makeup and we like did our hair. And so we kind of forgot about lunch. So we had like um, an HEB ready pizza, frozen pizza. So we threw that in to the oven and that was 600, I mean 760 calories. And that's all we ate for yesterday and it held us pretty good and and yesterday we didn't do squats our squat workout the other like on when saturday we didn't I oh yeah saturday didn't we didn't good. do squats so we did saturday squats on and sunday squats on sunday so we ended up doing 150 squats we are sore today so for the week i lost one point two pounds so I'm down for Monday but it's just not like really big drop so tell us about Sunday my Sunday okay so from Saturday to Sunday I gained 0.4 pounds um still I don't want to gain weight but it happened um really and then bad. yeah and then Sunday obviously um we did the shake we ate the pizza that was all we ate um but so from the beginning to now um, okay so i've lost like a pound 1.2 pounds we both lost 1.2 pounds we're not excited <laughs> but i'm not mad like at least i'm not gaining weight and not figuring out why or whatever i know why i gained weight like that's not we know why we went up yeah um but anyways that is like our weekly update we're gonna try to do this more often so that way it holds us accountable so today we did our workout and we had our shake. So we'll let you know about Mondays for next week. But for now, we are down a pound. <laughs> so raise the roof on that. If you guys have any tips or um, like ideas for food, let us let know. us know because that's where we kind of struggle right now. We're just being lazy with quarantine. And we're just popping these babies into the oven and mm -hmm. it's super easy. We don't have to clean really that much because we're not dirty in dishes. Um, and it's just an easy life. I mean, give us some tips. Let us know what you think. But also, don't be so mean. Like, we're not <laughs> professionals. We're yeah, just we're trying to. Like, I know we're going to have some people that think, like, well, if you want to lose weight, you can't eat that. Like, we know. But, like, our, my... My goal is not to lose 50 pounds. Like, my goal is to at least lose 10. So, 10 is better than whatever. But I just don't have, like, the mental discipline, discipline to, like, eat healthy all the time. Like, I don't. Like, I'll be real quick to be like, eh, screw it. I'm going to eat a Fast whole food. pizza because it tastes really yummy. Yeah. Um. So, I'm going to try to slowly get there. But if you guys... Like, I mean, you don't know how I want cake and I'm eating these babies. <laughs> so, for me, this is a big step. But, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for staying with us as we're doing, like, as we were talking. But I hope you guys are doing good. Stay safe. Stay home. Wear, Wear a mask. mask. Okay. Have fun. We're almost done with July. Bye, guys. Bye.